Hey guys, this is Sopanjit Thaure and welcome to my YouTube channel Achievers. In today's session, I am going to show you how to install the Oracle database on Windows 8 operating system. So let's get started. So if you see, I have Windows 8 operating system in my machine and I am going to install Oracle 12C in this machine. So here are the link available oracle.com this this link is available also in the description box of this video you just go ahead and click this link okay i already have the installable uh, in this folder so what you have to do is just you have to extract it here extract to this folder so it will create a new folder here so it takes time so if you see so if you see it's already extended in this folder now the important step is you have to extract this folder not in another folder okay so what you have to do is extract files it will ask for the folder options you have to just check for the one of two folder okay this one yes it's showing the same click ok Okay, so it will not create the another folder but it will go in the same folder so yes so we got the one single folder so open this folder go to the database and here setup before this uh, this software is a free of use that you can uh, download from the oracle website for that you have to your oracle account username and password then you can get this setup okay so double tick here setup so it will use this window okay so you have to uncheck this one do not enter the email id click next it will ask for the warning we just ignore it go ahead click yes so in this option we have to choose the first one create and configure the database I chose first click next desktop class click next in this option you have to choose the third one use windows built-in account so are you sure you want to continue it says like a uh, built-in account for installation and configuration of oracle home oracle recommends that you specify windows user account with limited privilege to install and configure a secure oracle home are you sure you want to continue click here no I will say um, if click OK, yes, this one. So here is the global letter name is by default ORCL. These are my by default uh, path location. It's chosen. It asks for the password now. And if you see the password restriction is password must be more than eight characters, less than one twenty characters, and contains both alphabetics and numerics. So I will type as a capital M A N a g e r 1 2 3 manager 1 2 3 okay so m a n a g e r 1 2 3 so same i am installing this now so prerequisite checks so it will take too much time so meanwhile i will pause this video so this is a main important thing that you have to save okay save response file here you can save db.rsp in desktop i will save this file okay so i will choose the option install so it will install these steps so total uh, these are the 10 steps oracle 12 c If you see 
it's a starting oracle database configuration assistant odca only one two steps are remained here still if you check like uh, if you type command let's open the sql plus i don't think it will work but let's see username system system password is the manager 123 capital m a n a g e r 123 good it's connected to this so if you see here oracle database 12 center price okay but still if i want to check the which oracle version i am installing so it's uh, just 80 percent 88 percentage okay so we have the command select star from select star from v then dollar version okay so here you can see oracle database to see enterprise edition 64 bit production environment so we are going to have this version on our machine okay so i'm just exiting this one let's check the school developer so if you see it's a uh, dbca it's still going on it's 73 percentage and overall complete uh, percentage is 88 percentage meanwhile this uh, sql developer is opened okay so if you go to for the create new connection you go click here connection name you can type any connection name as you want so i'm going to type uh, test only username is a system system password is a manager one two three where is a capital m m a n a g e r one two three okay localhost is uh, file name that we have put this localhost port number is one five two one while installing the oracle we put o r c l s i d services so click here test so I see here success so any one of these if some mismatch it will give the problem here status problem okay even if you change anything like if you like orci it will also give me the problem so it's a test success then you can save this okay so before going to save i will like to have the sys system and i will keep this as a connection okay i will save this one save password let's connect it yeah you can see here now system manager manager to this is my password this is still installing cool it's selected Here you can see Oracle database 12 say enterprise edition. This, this is blah 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 blah. So this is the Oracle database uh, edition. And if I want to check the SQL developer uh, version here, just simply click on help and about. You will get the version of this SQL developer. Okay, this one 3.2.20.10. Java 
so if you see this one <coughs> database configuration assistant database creation is complete for details you can check the logs at this location okay it's situated in this uh, path SID is uh, ORCL server parameter file name here and here is a link if you copy this link localhost colon 5500 forward slash em you will get this one okay so here if i put system in manager So here you can see all the information you can see the performance uh, you can also see the storage information here okay so all the information are available here you just have to open this and log into the system here okay it's 100 percent you can see now the installation of oracle database was successful your database configuration file have been installed see this one okay this one while other components selected for installation have been installed this one be cautious not to accidentally delete these configuration files so enjoy guys uh, oracle is installed in this machine so i hope every step is clear for you if you have any problem you can directly ping me on the below information you can go and see my information in about so now uh, I'm going to tell you how to create a new user apart from the system manager so type SQL plus system manager okay it's connected now for creating the new user we have the command create user username identified by password so see error at line number one invalid common user or role line. if you are facing this issue then you have to simply uh, have to run this command alter session set underscore oracle script underscore true okay session altered and if you run this command again then user created okay so if you go ahead here and like if you refresh this one you can see so many user here here so many user and here you can edit this user okay. new password you can set here you can also give the privileges admin all default all system privilege grant all admin all okay and you can simply apply next time see it's done grand success next time if you connect from sopnin and sopnin it will connect
connected to the, the SoapNail and SoapNail. So here it is the way that creating the username, a user, new user. You can simply create. You can close here. You can create another uh, connection and assign the SoapNail as a username there. Okay. So these are the simple steps, and I hope you got the how to install this oracle database in a windows 8 operating system or on any operating system you can install it and how to create the new user by using the command prompt and also from this you can create the new user okay so if you go here and new user new user create user can create it i hope you enjoyed this watching this video have a great day tata bye bye